Okay, so a bunch of you asked me to make a video on how I can dried beans. So I'm going to do that. Um, my canner holds 18 jars um, of the pint size. So that is what I'm doing. I do have two pressure canners, which normally I would do both if I have that many to do. Um, but I have six gallons of milk being turned into feta in this pot. Um, and I can only fit two big ones on the stove. This is the canner I have. It is a Presto, the large one. This I bought on sale last year for, I wanna say $80. And I do have two of them um, to fit that many jars. You will need two of these racks. One goes in the bottom. And then you put your first layer of jars and then you will do a second one in your second layer of jars. So that is the canner I use. And it is um, not a weighted pressure canner. It is has a gauge on it. So the lid looks like this. And um, the only thing with these is you have to check the seal and make sure it's still good. Okay, share with your brother. Um, you do have to replace them every so often. Um, I have not had to replace mine yet. If you get like an all American pressure canner, they do not have seals, so you don't have to worry about that. But they're cheap and um, I don't mind replacing them when need to be. So this is the lid. Um, it also has this piece on right there. Um, this is your pressure gauge. Super easy. Anytime you use your pressure canner, you wanna look through this hole right here and make sure you can see daylight through it because this is a pressure release valve. Um, so if your canner over pressurizes, this will just let out pressure. Um, so nothing's gonna explode or anything like that. New canners, pressure canners, it's pretty much impossible for them to explode. Um, so you just wanna make sure this is clear. There's nothing clogged in it each time before you use it. Um, and if you do so, it should all be just fine. So now I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay, you can do this with any dried beans. You can do it with split peas. Um, today, we are going to do pinto beans, split peas, and black beans. Um, I am going to rinse them uh, all real quick and sort through them. And then I'm going to put half a cup of dried beans in each jar. Okay, so those three bags of beans filled 17 jars. This one's not full, so we will leave it out. Um, so I don't know about where you live, but where I live, one can of beans or peas is about um, a dollar. I mean, they're anywhere between 89 cents and a dollar 20. Um, so those three bags of peas and beans cost me about $5. So I got 17 jars, which is equal to 17 cans, um, for $5. So that's a lot cheaper, obviously. Um, and now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt into each of these. Right now it is just half a cup of dried beans or peas. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put half a teaspoon of sea salt in each jar. Okay, we've got salt and water and dried beans in all of these jars. 
you want to leave about one inch of head space um, and then anything that's floating I take out um, then we will put lids on all of these but you want to make sure that you are using new lids that have not been canned with before you can reuse your rings so this outer part but this part needs to be new to ensure that you get a good seal so I'm gonna go grab a couple of packs of new lids um, obviously the ones that come on your jars if your jars are new are fine to use um, so I'm gonna go grab those and put them on and then I'll show you what we do next All right, we've got all our lids on and all of our rings. Um, the instructions for my pressure canner are to add three quarts of water to the canner. Um, so I'm going to do that. And each pressure canner may be different and it may depend on what you're canning. So you want to check your um, little booklet that comes with your pressure canner because it's important to make sure you have enough water because you don't want your canner to run out of water while it's going um, so you need to make sure there's enough water these are gonna go in for 75 minutes so it's a good amount of time um, which is why you add so much water so it doesn't evaporate out um, if you do bigger jars, it's even longer. I don't know off the top of my head what it is. Um, but if you go to the National Home Food Safety website, it's got times for both pints and quarts. Um, I will be doing these for 75 minutes at 12 pounds of pressure. If you do not live high altitude like I do, it won't be 12 pounds of pressure so you'll also want to check the website for how long or how much pressure um you require for your altitude so i'm going to put these in i've got a rack down in the bottom down there because you have to have that to get the water circulating through so i'm going to put my first layer of jars in All right, we have all of our jars in there. Um, they're stacked double high with another tray in between. So I have checked the hole in here and made sure nothing was stuck. Um, so then we're gonna line these up. Um, it's hard to do one-handed, especially with that other pot. So mine has, let me show you. So there's this arrow here and this one on this handle right here. So you line those up so they are lined up right now and then you're going to twist it shut. So it is twisted shut. When this comes to pressure, it has a thing that makes it so you can't even take the lid off if you wanted to. Um, so it's really safe. So we are not gonna put the weight on this. What we're gonna do now is push it to the back on the big burner. This is a lot easier to do with two hands, I promise you that. Okay, so. It's back there, it's ready to go. We're gonna turn it on and it's going to be at a medium setting, medium high. This will start releasing steam. Once that starts releasing steam, um, you will wait 10 minutes, you will set a 10 minute timer and that is all it's building pressure up in there. So you'll set a 10 minute timer once that starts whistling at you. Once the 10 minute timer is on or off, we're gonna pop this weight on there. And then this will start coming up to pressure and I need it at 12 pounds for 75 minutes. 
if it drops below the 12 pounds in that time, you have to start over. So you wanna keep an eye on it. You'll have to adjust temperature um, throughout. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear the steam. I think you should be able to. So I'm gonna start my 10 minute timer now. So in 10 minutes when that goes off, we are gonna put our little weight on that right there. This will be popped up, this little thing that's spitting. And that just means that it's pressurized in there. So in 10 minutes, we're gonna put our weight on and then it'll start to come to pressure. Once it is at 12 pounds, I'm going to put a 75 minute timer on and then I'll show you what we do when we're all done. Okay, my timer just went off, but I wanted to show you what it sounds like while it's going. So this is what it sounds like. Now we're gonna wait until the gauge is all the way down to zero. And once it's at zero, we're gonna use a spoon to tap this. And if it doesn't hiss, we'll take it off and that means it is ready for the lid to come off. Okay, so the pressure gauge has released. This has dropped right here. When you move this, no steam comes out. So we're gonna take that off. Open this, and it's still really hot. So I'm gonna have to use both hands. But you wanna also have a towel ready to set your jars on. You don't wanna set hot jars on a cold counter because they will break. And we are going to use this to take our jars out. Um, so I'll get them all pulled out real quick. Okay, they're all pulled out. You'll hear the lid start to ping. Um, that means they are sealing. So you wanna leave these for 24 hours without moving them. Um, and then in 24 hours, you will want to wipe the jars down, label them, date them. Even if you think you'll know what they are, still do it because I always think I will know and then I forget. Um, and then before you store them, just take the bands off so that they don't create a false seal and then you're good to go. That's it, it's really easy. Um, you have to use a pressure canner for canning beans. You cannot use a hot water bath canner. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer if I know the answer.